The city of Baltimore declared a state of emergency um, after protesters took to the street in the wake of the Freddie Gray incident. Um, and it posed a reaction all across social media, um, none the more so than with two very notable athletes, one former athlete who we're going to throw to first, Ray Lewis, uh, Baltimore hometown hero, took to Twitter uh, with a few statements there. Um, but although these statements are very powerful and send across a message, none even held a light to what he said on Facebook in terms of uh, the message that he wanted to get across. I think it's up to like 2.2 million views on Facebook. So take a look here at what Ray Lewis had to say. No way, no way, no way this can happen in our city. No, young kids, you can't, you, you got to understand something. Get off the streets. Violence is not the answer. Violence has never been the answer. Freddie Gray, he, we, we don't do nothing for him doing this. We know there's a deeper issue. We know what the jungle looks like, but this isn't it. We know we're not getting the right justice. We know all these answers. But riding in our streets is wrong. It's dead wrong. We got to go back to the beginning. It takes a village. It takes, it takes a whole village to raise one child. We got to redefine what this looks like. We got to redefine what building Baltimore looks like. We must change this right now. Stop the violence, man. Go home. I'm telling you, go home. I, and whatever I got to do, it will not happen on our clock. It will not happen on our clock. So powerful words, words from one of the most powerful NFL players of all time, I'd say. Um, very assured words, and he knows exactly what he, he wants to say on this issue. And we will come straight up and say that, uh, me and Jason, on this panel. It's hard to give uh, our full opinion on this matter because we do not feel that same injustice. And we, speaking from both of us, haven't really experienced the same level of discrimination. Um, so it's hard to give that, 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 that standpoint and, and put across our opinions without really knowing how, it's, how, how it feels to be on the receiving end of this sort of discrimination. Right, it wouldn't even be, it wouldn't be just or right uh, to yeah. even to, to try to compare, but sympathy goes out there. I mean, yeah. like there's people getting injured, there's people getting hurt, and you're gonna see pictures coming up that are powerful, disturbing. Yeah. I mean, things on fire, it's just not, it's not the safest state right now in yeah. Baltimore. And the thing I like about the Ray Lewis video specifically was that Ray Lewis is a leader, and while, you know, love him or hate him when he was a football player, you know, when you see athletes who know that they can reach a mass audience, 2.2 million views for a good purpose, it's yeah. great to see someone like Ray Lewis doing this, obviously for his city, obviously Baltimore still means a whole lot to him. And we talked about this previously on a clip here saying that uh, to try and keep athletes away from politics, and I, I'm one that stands for that as much as I, I possibly can, but when it comes to uh, reach, there is there's no... Nothing comes close to uh, the reach of a, a star athlete yeah. or the reach of a star celebrity. And in cases like this, I think it's necessary. Um, and I think that to get a message across, to, to, to stand for the first message which Ray, Le Ray Lewis is trying to portray is to stop the violence. Yeah. And that's a message that no matter uh, what you feel or the justice on the issue, I don't think violence can help solve anything. Um, but it's that, that's just my own personal perspective on that, really a, a peace, peaceful guy in, in my perspective. But that's something that people will argue and disagree with, of course. But it wasn't just Ray Lewis, right? No, uh, Carmelo uh, Anthony. Carmelo Anthony, who has always said he was born in Brooklyn, New York, but he was manufactured in Baltimore. He moved there when he was a kid, eight or nine mm -hmm. years old, I believe. Uh, he tweeted, uh, he didn't tweet, he Instagrammed out a, uh, a picture with a lo very long caption. I want to read off the quotes from it. That's what the picture that he associated with the quotes yeah. that are about to come. So we're going to move into those. So here's what Carmelo Anthony had to say. We all want justice, and our city will get the answers we are looking for. My deepest sympathy goes out to the Gray family. To see my city in the state of emergency is just shocking. We need to protect our city, not destroy it. What happens when you get the answers that we want, and the media attention is not there anymore? He continues to say, we go back to being the same old Baltimore city again. It's not your, if not yourself, then think about the youth, how this will impact them. Let's build our city up not tear it down. Although we want justice, let's look at the real issues at hand. For example, when was the last school built in Baltimore? That's just one example. He finishes off with one more part. I believe, I know my community is fed up. I'm all about fighting for what we believe in. The anger and resentment, the neglect that our community feels right now will not change overnight. Continue fighting for what you believe in, but remember it takes no time to destroy something, but it can take forever to build it back up. So again, in a similar vein, 
to what Ray Lewis was saying that there's the youth is involved in this. That's 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 the main thing that I see. Is you see like the image with the, uh, a young kid. I can't really tell what age he is, but definitely in his early youth with a speaker, and he's mm. probably sending across a message. And although it's it, it's a very important thing to 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 have our youth understand what's going on and, and, and to build that, that knowledge around what our world entails and what things go on. But it's also scary, the fact that these kids are brought up in, in, with, this, with this violence around them and that it may be now portrayed, I'm not saying it is, but it may be portrayed that violence is a way to get a message across. And that is a little scary. That yes. it, the only way for to be heard uh, on, on both sides is to resort to violence and resort to, to drastic measures to get people to look at, at the severity of the issue. Well, it's it's a terrifying thing because obviously, as again, I want to keep it back to the athletes because if it wasn't for Ray Lewis and Carmelo Anthony, and again, I don't follow too many, too much politics in general, yeah. so I don't, I'm not uh, least focused enough on to figure out what other types of messages are being put out there from politicians, from leaders across the country that aren't related to sports. We are TYT Sports. But what yeah. I want to make the point of being is when you have so much on CNN and so much on MSNBC of only showing, and we showed it to B-roll of, yeah. of fires, obviously uh, cops and citizens of, of Baltimore both injured and in pain, kids fighting, tearing down a city for whatever reasons that they feel they need to, uh, inventing their anger towards that, um, it's at least nice to see that the athletes out there are portraying a better message to counteract that. Yeah. Uh, to at least putting out there that it's not all fire and brimstone. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. And that, and that if of course the issue will be taken further into detail. You guys watching, if you wanted to see that, you can watch on our main show, the News and Politics mm -hmm. Show, the Young Turks. They'll talk about it in further detail with that more political framework in mind. We like to bring it to light what, what the athletes have to say on this issue and I reiterate our point as much as I personally don't stand, I don't like to, to see athletes getting involved in issues that don't really involve them as much outside of uh, football particularly when it's my sport but when it's, when it's an issue like this it is necessary, it is essential, it is a must do that people who feel that they can have some sort of effect right. on youth, especially like Ray Lewis, these idols that people look up to to see them portray this message which for me depending on whether you agree or disagree with what's going on, to not resort to violence. That's right. the, the core uh, message to get across. I think these bo both of these guys are doing, and many more are resulting to that. So, um, again, we want to know what you guys think. Uh, as I said before, if you want to see the, the, this, the discussion in detail and the, the whole Freddie Gray issue, you can uh, you can look over at our main, our main show. They'll be talking about that. But uh, leave your comments in the section below. What do you think when athletes speak out on issues like this? Um, leave your comments and please subscribe to TYT Sports.